here with our third guest today. Um, we're here at the Boundary House. Yes. Ray, thank you so much for being a part of our show today. You're so welcome. We are so excited to be at this restaurant. Um, it's located in Calabash, North Carolina. Tell us a little bit about the history of the restaurant and when you opened. Okay, the Boundary House opened on uh, November 14th of 2005. Okay. Uh, so we're almost open about nine years now. The original Boundary House is about a mile or so in that direction, a little bit further south, and used to define the state line between North and South Carolina. I mean, it was a, a great place for people back then to get together or hold church service or hold community gatherings um, for, for people. So it was a place of rendezvous is what we always say. And how long was that there? Do you know, Ray? How long? I want to say it was um, around the mid 1700s, and it lasted a good hundred years or so. Uh, to my knowledge, there's still a few stones left from the building. That's what I've heard. Um, but I've never personally been there. I actually, look forward to doing that one yeah. day. Okay. Tell us a little bit about um, this restaurant in particular. What kind of foods you have, and what makes you unique? You've got a lot of seafood restaurants kind of yes. surrounding you. So what, what sets you apart from those other restaurants? Yeah, it's interesting that you bring that up because the, the Boundary House is a little bit different from the mm -hmm. restaurants that are on this river road, on mm -hmm. the street. Um, so traditionally, we're an American cuisine restaurant. Um, but we provide a lot of different food for a variety of tastes for different guests. So typically when you think calabash, you think of calabash style fried food or fried right. seafood. Right. And we're able to do the same for our guests here. Um, we have very lightly battered and deep fried shrimp and flounder, delicious crab cakes. Um, so we're able to incorporate that into the Boundary House as well. But we offer so much more. Uh, we only use the best cuts of steak best cuts of prime rib, um, but we're also able to do everything for everyone's palate. So we do pastas, salads, chicken dishes, beautiful homemade desserts. So it encompasses a little bit for everyone to try. So you bring the whole family out here and everybody's going to find something on the menu that whets their appetite. You're not kidding. And actually, that's a, a great thing for us at the Boundary House. I've been in the service industry for over 19 years. And when you said parties, my first instinct or first memory was when I came to this restaurant and realized how amazing the layout was, um, most people when, go, when they go out, they want a booth. They want to sit in a comfortable booth. Right. And then we tend to notice that parties or larger parties have a problem finding tables sitting together or sitting close by. So the designers and the owners, when they thought about how to lay out the restaurant, it's actually pretty incredible. If you look around, you'll notice in every section, um, there's booths to accommodate a lot of people. But in the centers or alongside of those booths are a lot of large tables right. that we can join together. Uh, we could do a party from as small as a two top, one top, and as long and as big as a 30 top all together sitting wow. at the same time. So when it comes to special events or birthdays or anniversaries or rehearsal dinners or you know Christmas gatherings or even on Thanksgiving Day, we're able to put all of these tables together um, to accommodate larger parties. So. And speaking of Thanksgiving Day, we were talking earlier, and you guys will be open for Thanksgiving. So we we're are. Uh, in the month of November. Thanksgiving is coming up. Yes. Uh, they can call and get reservations. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. Please do call and make a reservation. I'd highly recommend that. Um, that day is typically based on reservations only. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we turn the entire restaurant every hour and a half. Uh, we, we figured out exactly, I guess, on average, how long a guest takes. So if we go over or below that, it's okay as well. We're able to accommodate. Um, but we figured out to make sure that everyone gets an opportunity to have a traditional Thanksgiving dinner at the Boundary House, we're able to do specific turns. So we'll be doing one at 11 o'clock and then 12.30 and then every hour and a half. Um, so please do call us. We sign um, specific tables and specific booths per your liking, mm -hmm. whether you want a window table or a larger table so that you can um, sit together with your family. We're able to accommodate that. Um, and Russell, our senior manager, has been making Thanksgiving for the last two plus years. Um, it's an incredible day for all of us. It's a very exciting day. We cook turkey and ham, or as another option, you can have an, a prime rib on the plate, and it comes with all the traditional fixings of um, sweet potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes, a cranberry sauce, green beans. Um, the dish is fully loaded, so typically most of our guests go home 
with boxes. <laughs> yes, just like um, your Thanksgiving at home. You sure you know you're supposed to have Left an extra. Sure. That's right. You're supposed to be able to make a, a turkey sandwich <laughs> later on or the next day with That's your right. turkey, and we're able to duplicate that here. Um, but the great thing about this dish is that you don't have to you don't have to make anything at home. As opposed to you know going out and doing all the shopping and getting this or that, you end up spending way more. So um, our dish is at twenty four ninety five, and it's essentially a three course meal. Right. You get our famous Boundary House salad, which a Caesar we have salad, here which we do. Yes, <laughs> it's awesome. Or a Caesar salad or a baked potato soup, and then you're going to get your dinner, mm -hmm. um, which again is a huge portion on a very large plate. And then it comes with also a choice of a pumpkin or a pecan pie at the end. And wow. you get a soft drink, and that's all twenty four ninety five. So I think oh, wow. it's a great deal. Yes. It's great value um, in a great environment. Everybody's so excited to do Thanksgiving. Yes. Let's Sounds talk delicious. about your Boundary House salad. Sure. We got it sitting here. I know Megan's dying to it's dig my in. Favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what makes this your signature dish. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the house salad is made with a fifty fifty mixture of romaine and iceberg lettuce. Uh, we top it off with chopped tomatoes, chopped eggs. We put a mixture of bacon and ham on top of it. It's nice and hot, actually, when we put it on the salad. And we finish that off with a teaspoon of pecans, maple sugar pecans. Mm. Um, and then typically, people get our, our, our signature dressing. We have a hot bacon and honey mustard dressing. And then the combination of both of those with all of those ingredients is incredible. And of course, the salad comes with a, our famous um, honey butter croissant on the side of it, and it is I'm smelling yeah, it, it is to die for. You've got to try. If you've never had it, you have to try it yes. at least once at the Boundary House. Let's so. take a bite of this, yeah. and then we'll move on to sure. a couple other signature entrees that you've got sure out there. Enjoy. I hope you enjoy it. Mm. Mm. Very, good. Very good. I think the dressing makes it. For sure. It's very unique. Yeah, but you should know too that um, we make almost all of our dressings in-house. So we've had um, the same, essentially, prep crew for the last nine years. These same people have been making the same dressing, the same baked potato soup, the same clam chowder, essentially all our hot cooked food um, by the same two individuals, um, Shamal and Miss Sarah, incredible prep staff, incredible cooks and it's great to have them consistently doing it for the consistency of the flavors so we're blessed right. to have them you want to bring over the other two uh yeah other absolutely two, uh, plates there yeah we'll i'll get that out of your way yeah absolutely if i take another bite of that dinner <laughs> yeah <laughs> absolutely i'll set you up what russell has in his hands is the hurricane chicken it's very good uh, the hurricane chicken is another house specialty at the boundary house okay. wow Look um, at the size of that I know. <laughs> So we take an eight ounce marinated grilled chicken breast, and then we top that off with a four ounce fried crab cake. And then we top that off with four shrimp, grilled shrimp. And on top of it, we add a velouté sauce. A velouté sauce is a French culinary cream sauce that's essentially made with chicken stock, celery seasonings, creams, spices. Um, and the combination is absolutely incredible. We finish it off as a garnish with um, grated Parmesan cheese and parsley for color. Um, and we decided or elected to use rice today as a side dish. There's many different sides that you can choose from. We're but digging in. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Um, but it's, um, it's a, a, I feel like rice is a great complement to that dish. I always enjoy seafood and so chicken. Good. Yeah, the combination, you wouldn't think, right? Chicken, mm -hmm. crab cake, shrimp with a, an incredibly delicious, rich velouté sauce. That's yeah. really good. Delicious. Love that. And tell us about this. Oh, man, prime rib. <laughs> we get the best prime rib loins. Uh, if we want to speak technically, we go 14 unders, which means the loin is 14 pound and under, uh, which helps with tenderness. All our steaks are aged at least 21 days for tenderness and for flavor. Um, and then what we do is we roast it in a specific oven called an alto sham. And it roasts anywhere from three plus hours. Wow. And that breaks up all the tendons and all the muscles to make it incredibly tender. It becomes like butter. Wow. Well, listen, we're going to try this off camera because yeah. we're about out of time. But it looks great. I'm looking forward yeah. to digging in. Can you give the audience uh, your contact information so they can have it to call and get in touch with you guys? Absolutely. Yeah, my name is Ray McHale. I'm the general manager. You can contact us at 910-579-8888. Um, the Boundary House's address is 1045 River Road in the heart of Calabash, right behind um, Callahan's. 
um, right in the heart of Calabash. And I, I always say that the Boundary House is still bringing be people together, yeah. you know. Right. Thank you so right. much Thank for you. being Pleasure. a part of the show. So happy to meet Thank you, Tony. Thank you so Megan, much. Megan, glad to yeah. have you here. We'll be right back. Thank you.